Yeah, don't play with that girl. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I am back with another hair video. Actually, I'm back with another Amazon wig video. It's been a while since I did one of those. I have a cheap Amazon wig video coming up as well. So y'all stay tuned for that. But yeah, clearly I'm back with a good one. Y'all see, <laughs> heard it was Bob season. You know, had to come through for the girls. And it's Pride Month, so I feel like this is perfect timing, you know? But yeah, in this video, it's a little bit different than my normal ones. Well, not really. This is something new. I've never done anything like this, like a style like this. So really, I'm just walking y'all through how I did it, all the steps, products that I used, everything. And then I installed, styled, and gave my little review on this unit, even though this is not a sponsored video. You know, of course, I always give y'all my thoughts on this unit in case y'all wanna go purchase it yourself. It'll be linked in the description box below. But yeah, we're gonna be doing this little fun, rainbow zebra tiger print wig that i saw on instagram this is a recreation of this wig right here i follow her on instagram and i saw this last year actually but i just never did it and i'm finally doing it and then i also found the creator from her page like who did her wig so i will link both of their social medias below yeah i'll credit to her for this hairstyle i thought it was so cute I had to recreate it and it's bob season yeah your girl did that but anyway if y'all want to see how your girl got down on this unit and all the products me installing styling and my review. Oh, and the unboxing as well. We're gonna do that first. Y'all already know that though. Then keep on watching. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start with the first step, which is toning the hair. So I'm just using my Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo, and I just got a tub of hot water from the sink, didn't boil it, and I used what was left in this bottle. I actually ran out, but it was enough to do what I needed to do. Um, so I just mixed that up with my comb, and we're gonna start dipping the wig. I dipped the side that's gonna be blonde first because, you know, obviously that's the side that's gonna be blonde. So, you know, I was more concerned about that side being toned more than the other side but you know i'm dipping the whole thing anyway but that's just the side i decided to dip first and i'm just doing you know up and down motions running my fingers through all that and i'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and we back and it's what it's looking like not so yellow because i don't do that I, I just can't even if i'm just wearing it blonde i don't do the yellow see yeah that's what we need right there um, so yeah, I'm gonna go rinse this out and then let that air dry overnight and we'll start the dyeing process. So I went ahead and parted the hair down the middle and put it into my two sections, you know, the two halves. And here are the colors that we're gonna be using, the Kiss Temptations hair dye. I got funky yellow, neon orange, ruby red, fuchsia, cyan and neon green like i said we're gonna be using them in that order and then i also got black for obviously the stripes so yeah i don't even know why i got two bottles so let me use one i didn't use a whole bottle you only need one but here i'm just spraying got to be spray on the section that's going to be blonde and just combing the product through um just in case i get any hair dye on that section i don't know if that's going to stop anything or not but it's better than putting nothing on it i actually didn't get any hair dye over there but you know just a little safety measure i know some people put conditioner but i just decided to use my good old got to be spray so yeah, but now we're going to go ahead and start parting off the sections for the hair dye. So, the best way I can describe this is I just took that section, divided it in two. And then those two sections are divided into three because, um, you know, it's going to be six colors. So, three for each section. So, I'm just going to be parting this whole time. So, I'm not going to talk. Y'all can just watch me part. And I'm just using little duck bill clips, by the way, as I section them off just to keep them separated.
All right, so we're all parted off now. So I'm just clipping all the other sections over to the side to keep it out of the way while I'm dyeing this first section, which is the funky yellow. And then I'm just taking my hot comb and hot combing this section forward just to keep these hairs separated from the section behind it. I only did that for this section, but whatever. Um, so here's the hair dye and the brush I'm using, I got from the beauty supply store. And there's really no way for me to explain this other than just be really careful. As y'all can see, I got like a smaller brush. Um, I know they have like the wider brushes that you can get, but I got the smaller one on purpose because, you know, I want to be precise. So that's really all I can say is be careful. Don't get any dye on the other sections. Take your time. You know, we ain't in no rush here because this took me like six hours to do just the colors, not even including the stripes and everything else. So, you know, we're taking our time. It's okay. And also make sure you're parting the sections and like separating and make sure you're getting dye on everything because you know you may think you'd be spreading dye all over it you may think it's saturated and it's not so you know part up in there because you might still have some blonde showing and make sure there is no blonde showing cover all the sections but i'm just going to speed this up um, i'm doing the same thing on all the other sections there's no sense in me making you sit here for six hours with me so i'm going to speed this up cut that time down to maybe five or six minutes or so um so yeah y'all just sit back and watch your girl work
right, so we made it to the last section, and I let this sit for like a couple of hours, and that's what it's looking like, and we're going to wash it out now. So I'm using the Garnier Whole Blends Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Shampoo and Conditioner, and I'm using cold water. Use cold water. Do not use hot water. Don't use warm water. Cold water. You don't want your colors to run, bleed, wash off, none of that. Um, and my colors actually did, like, well, the orange started to try and bleed onto my yellow that's the only section i had a problem with but luckily i caught it fast enough to where it didn't like turn it orange but just pay attention to that like i said cold water and work kind of fast and also be careful about your blonde section because it can try and bleed over there or the colors might try and run over there if you know the water is running that way so try and keep that out the way but this is what it's looking like after i washed it and i actually let it dry before i started working on the stripes so yeah it's dry now and i'm just taking a little bit of this water and just misting it just to smooth down the little frizzies and you know strays i don't want to put any like got to be or like product on it so i just use water to try and smooth those down and i'm just using my hot comb to try and straighten out um that section just as best as i can just so you know i'm working with a pretty even area for the stripes so that when i do straighten it for the install i know that you know the design will fall how it's supposed to if that makes sense i don't know i'm probably just confusing y'all but anyway now we're getting ready to do the fun part which is the stripes you know the most tedious part well shoot the other part was tedious too but you know this part like if you mess this up you might as well hang it up go and throw the wig away because this is black hair dye i mean if you thought you had to be careful before you got to be extra careful now because there's just no going back after this i mean it's black it's yummy you, know I mean? you, you can't fix it so be careful with this but i'm just taking the same brush from before you know the same small brush and i'm just making my tiger stripes i really don't know how to explain how to do tiger stripes or zebra whatever you want to call it you can follow a pattern um i started following the picture of the girl who i saw wear this wig on instagram so i was following that for a little bit and then i just started doing my own thing i actually already had experience with this print before because i actually started doing nails when i was in middle school and this was one of the first prints that i learned how to do on nails so I actually kind of already knew the technique of this print but anyway all you're really doing is just taking the hair dye just dipping the tips of the brush in the dye and basically like tapping it on and kind of painting it on and applying a little bit of pressure just to kind of get it to saturate through as much of the hair as you can it's not going to go all the way through like the other side of the hair but i was just doing that to get it through as much of the hair as i could so like when i move or the hair moves like you can still see the design a little bit just to get it to saturate the hair a little bit but i guess you could like part it and do layers of the design but i'm not going to do this over and over again so i just did it on the outside layer of the hair because i mean there's just no point and doing anything else but you can if you want to but they're not perfect lines so you know it doesn't have to be straight or perfect they're kind of like jagged so you kind of just do your own thing which is the good thing about this print is it doesn't have to be perfect lines so yeah there's really no way to explain it but you can follow a pattern if you feel the need to and yeah and then for the thin parts of those stripes you can use the rat tail end of your brush to like thin out the ends of the lines if that makes sense but my camera actually died right here but this is how it turned out i mean i'm just repeating the same thing over and over again but yeah i let this sit overnight and then i washed it out the next morning with shampoo and conditioner after that i decided to tone the knots on the wig if you don't know how to do that i actually already showed y'all how to do that in my she and wig video so you can go watch that video i showed y'all step by step how to do it um these are the products that i used in case you were wondering but if you want like you know step by step then go to that video it's organized in the chapter so you really can skip to the toning knots part but that's how i'm doing here and i actually left this on for too long you're only supposed to let it sit for five minutes but then i got distracted and left it on for 10 minutes so the knots were darker than i wanted but anyway i washed it out with shampoo and conditioner and let it dry and then i also cut the hair i didn't show that because i don't have any experience with cutting hair so i didn't even film that this was my first time doing anything like that but this is how it turned out when i cut it into a nice little blunt bob and now we're finna install her. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I was just trying it on. But this is how it's looking. I didn't record me cutting hair because I don't know nothing about cutting hair for real. So, you know. But this is what we're looking like. I wish you could see more of the other colors. But anyway. I'm excited. Don't play with it, girl. <laughs> okay, let's install her and let me hurry up. By the way, I'm not talking during this part. Y'all have seen me do this a thousand times. If you haven't, then you're late. Why haven't you been subscribed to my channel? But 
Um, all I'm doing is spraying the Wonder Lace Bond. I'm not using lace glue. I'm literally just spraying it down and tying it down with the elastic band and cutting the lace off. That's literally it. So, self-explanatory, but I'm not talking during this part. Also, another thing, I don't know if I stained the lace a little bit when I toned the knots. You know, I told y'all I left it on too long and it got pretty dark. I don't know if I stained the lace because it was a little bit darker. And also, when I put my makeup on it, the lace was darker than... It usually is because I use the same mixture that I always use when I put makeup on my lace. And it was a little dark. So, um, yeah, if you see that, then pay no attention because I'm not sure. I guess I stained the lace. I don't know what happened. But, yeah, it was, like, noticeably darker than my lace normally is. And I use the same stuff. So, I don't know what happened there. But don't come for me. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm gonna finish my makeup. As y'all can see, I'm in the process. But I'm gonna finish my makeup and then come back in hot comb and straighten her some more. Don't play with it, girl. <laughs> okay, I can't really see the back, so maybe I can get my mom to try and do the back because I need this cute all the way around. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. I'm so proud of this. I'm really happy with it. Like, everything went as planned. You know, it was easier than I thought, but it did take a really long time. But it's so cute. I'm really happy with it. It's so cute. Like, don't play with that girl. But I just took pictures and everything, so I plan on editing everything tonight. The video, pictures, everything, so I can post it tomorrow, which is Saturday. Today's Friday. But yeah, what do y'all think? Your girl did that.
but i guess i'll give y'all a little review even though this isn't really a hair review i just wanted to do this but um i got this wig off of amazon so i'll link it down below i guess i could add this to my amazon wig series this is a 13 by 4 14 inch 613 bob unit but i cut it as y'all saw already and i think it turned out really good for me to have no experience with cutting hair because i y'all i have no idea so let's start with my number one thing which is if it's big head friendly or not i will say that it's just a little snug like a little i barely made it through so it's very like borderline-ish big head friendly i guess you could say but um you know obviously i got it on i won't say it's tight i guess it's just like very fitted to my head very snug no no more room in here for nothing else yeah that's how i feel about the sizing of it the lace um usually i'll let y'all know if it like melted really well which it did but it's the color that's worrying me because i put you know the same color i always put on the lace and i don't know if it's because i got dye on the lace it turned like a little weird color i don't know but i don't know if that had anything to do with it but it was just a little off as far as the match to my skin goes but i used the same makeup that i always use it was just a little bit off than normal so i don't know if it was because of that it probably was so anyway shedding and tangling it doesn't tangle but it does shed which is expected with 613 hair but it's nothing like that last blonde wig that i did if you watched that video on my channel if you haven't go watch it's nothing like that though that wig sheds like a lot like excessively but this it just sheds like a normal amount for a blonde unit so um nothing i'm really mad at i can't do a length check obviously because i cut it but it was 14 inches before but i'm pretty sure it was giving 14 inches i don't know what i done cut it to so i cut off a good little bit though so we'll just have to go with that it took really well to the dye it did really well with that the colors are really vibrant and all that like no issues there it also took well when i toned it i really can't think of anything else so i guess i really didn't have any problems with this unit so i'm gonna give her a 10 out of 10 and i'm gonna give me a 10 out of 10 because <laughs> yeah yeah y'all see that i told y'all i don't know what video that was but i told y'all a couple videos back that i was gonna do something really cool like some fun styles and fun looks with some blonde units i was saying that i really i think it was the video with the blonde wig i was saying that i really want to do more blonde wig because i had so many things i wanted to try and this was one of them so <laughs> Hopefully I didn't disappoint when I was, you know, hyping that up. And this is a recreation, by the way. I'm not taking credit for this style at all. Let me start there because I don't have time for nobody coming for me. This is a recreation. This is a picture I got off of Instagram. I follow her on Instagram, so I got it from her page. And I also found the creator um, who did her wig on her page as well. So I'll tag both of them and all of that because I give my credit. Y'all not going to come for me yeah y'all go check them out because she did her thing with this and i had to do mine so yeah but anyway y'all that's really it for this video i'm gonna stop rambling because at this point i'm just talking let me know what y'all thought of this video i was really excited to do this this is for once not a brand deal so you know i got to do whatever i wanted and you know no deadlines none of that and i can post it whenever i'm ready don't have to wait for no company to review it or nothing like that so let me know y'all's thoughts on this video let me know y'all's thoughts on the wig how it turned out let me know if y'all want to see more videos like this like the video if so or leave a comment and let me know what y'all want to see next but yeah that is it for this video you guys hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel please and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because clearly you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on and i will see y'all in my next video bye